You're listening to the Sisterhood Podcast. And this week, we have got something very different for you. This isn't going to be lots of jokes and banter. This is something really serious that we need to talk about. Very important topic. So today we have the lovely Sam joining us to talk to us about her daughter, Nicole Thea. If you didn't know, Nicole was a 24-year-old woman. She sadly passed away three years ago while she was eight months pregnant. And unfortunately, her baby boy, Rain, didn't survive either. Um, It's really quite sad also to add that the contributing factors that were at play of her passing were the fact that she was a woman of colour. We're joined today by Jordan. Hi. And we're also joined today by Shida. um, And they're going to be guest hosting this episode with us. Um, I would just like to say before we go any further, if you've actually experienced anything to do with baby loss, miscarriage or the death of a child and you're still really struggling with that, then this episode is going to be quite tough and it might not be appropriate for you to watch at the moment. Um, So first of all, some statistics. Yeah. Between 2019 and 2021, 259 women died during pregnancy or within 42 days after their pregnancy ended. And sadly, the statistics show that black women are four times more likely than white women to die in childbirth. The leading cause for these deaths include heart conditions, neurological disorders, and mental health. The statistics also show that black and ethnic babies are two times more likely to die than white babies. Um, so... Also, I just want to add as well, so we've also got your friend with us today mm-hmm. who's going to be supporting you through this story. <clears throat> and your name's Shell, that's right, Michelle. Mm-hmm. And you've got your own story on negligence and the loss of your child, which we'll talk about a little bit more later on. Um, so, Lids? So, it's uh, Sam. Thank you for being here today. We really appreciate you. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you for having me. No, you're more than welcome. Um, So it's recently been the anniversary of Nicole and baby Rain's passing. Um, Can you tell us a bit about Nicole and what happened over the last three years? Yeah. So on Tuesday, the 11th of July, was the third year of Nicole and Rain sadly passing away. Nicole was born on the 29th of July, so it's her birthday in a couple of weeks. Um, She was born in Manchester, and um, she was... Such a lovely child and never ever had any issues with Nicole. Um, but the one thing that I knew straight away is that Nicole loved to dance. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> at, it was a time of the Spice Girls. Mm. And, oh, we um, Spice Girls. oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah I, was I was sporty. <laughs> <laughs> and I could, when I was cooking in the kitchen, I could just leave her on the sofa watching mm. um, the Spice Girls. And she just, you could just see she was mesmerized by it. Mm. Um, she was walking by the time she was one years old. Um, and obviously as she grew older, um, she just was dancing everywhere. And mm. like when we used to go like shopping and stuff, she'd do like the Michael Jackson moonwalk and she was just <laughs> dancing <laughs> in like Tesco's or wherever. Mm. And um, people would just stop and watch her. And I always knew, like I said, that she wanted to do dance. And then obviously we moved to London um, and she started to go, she started with a group called Boy Blue, um, which she loved. And I loved how um, their music and the routines and the productions that they used mm-hmm. to do. And then she started to, um, obviously she went to dance school um, and got, went to college um, and got her certification in dance and performing arts. Mm-hmm. Um, because she was always a, a good child. I always used to do that to her little bum. <laughs> yeah. You know, performing arts children as well. They're <laughs> generally the most magnetic children yeah. and yeah. so full of life and, and fun. So yeah, she I was just so see, confident. Yeah. She, she really <laughs> was the first person on the dance floor. Mm. Um, she was always there for her friends as well. And she was always helping people. Um, but that's what I instill in her. Mm. Um, I always 
told her to just go for her dreams and what she wanted to do because she mm. always wanted to dance. Um, and then um, growing up, um, like I said, when she met Bogger, then she mm. met Bogger, and things just changed from there. And she was super, super happy. Mm. Um, they never argued. It was <laughs> it was like a real old school love, and I'm not yeah. just saying that. Yeah. It was so like he wouldn't eat without her, and she wouldn't mm. eat without oh, him. Yeah. And they were constantly on the phone to each other. Mm -hmm. And he'd say the most silliest things. <laughs> I'm thinking, well, how do you yeah. not know that? <laughs> yeah. and, then, and our dog's going, oh, bugger. But I just loved how happy that she was, yeah. or he made her. Um, that must have been really nice as a mother. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I was a warrior. I yeah. was constantly worrying about Nicole. Cause, mm. like, she's my only child. Oh, of course. Yeah. Um, and I always wanted to protect her. Yeah. Um, so to see that she was treated right by um, Bogger was just, I, I, I always felt at ease when I knew she was with him. Mm. Yeah. Um, and she traveled all over the world to do dance. She, um, she'd teach dance as well, which was really nice. And I freaked out. I was always freaking out when she'd go away. Yeah. Oh, like, phone me when you get there. Mm. Oh Even if, as soon as she left, I'd phone her to make sure she was all she make sure she was all right in the in the cab. Or to be honest, I'd travel to uh, take her to the airport. Mm. And um, I remember one one month I was like back and forth. Like oh, in fact, one week was like three times in one week going there, coming back because like Stansted is just down mm. the road from us, really. So that was a blessing. Um, but yeah, she was just always loved music. Mm. She was absolutely radiant mm. yeah. and she amassed hundreds of thousands of followers. Mm. She had that real star quality that yeah. like you can't teach, you can't buy, you just either have it or you Special. don't. Yeah. And she just lit up like we was even watching some videos of her yeah. on the way here and she just lights up your screen like mm. honestly. Um, and she just had this real love. Everyone loved her. So mm. many people loved her. And when she became pregnant, that I think that was like something that like people really, really followed. Everyone, Everyone yeah. was so engaged with her yeah. pregnancy yeah. and her story. Um, so how did you feel about Nicole becoming pregnant? You must have been so excited. Well, for me, if I'm really being honest with you, I was like, oh, she she loves dance. Yeah. And she does she she was doing so much social media at the time and she started to calm down a little bit. Um, but then when she was home, I just knew. Mm. And I said, Nicole, Mom's you're pregnant, aren't you? She went, yeah. Always nice. yeah. <laughs> so she didn't get the chance to like, mm. tell me, tell me. Because so, I could just, I could just knew. Mm. And then I noticed on the back of her neck, lower back of her neck, her and Bogger had matching tattoos of a yin and the yang. Oh, oh that's so cute. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. And I was like, oh my God, you've got a tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I'm the type of mum anyway that, if I if if she's if she's home and he's there, I don't mind that because I know that she's home and she's safe. Mm. And we had the relationship where if that she could come and talk to me about anything, mm. um, you know, because there are a lot of parents that are really really strict, and sometimes mm. you've got to think, look, you were you were young once, mm. you know. Sometimes if you just leave your child to do what they want to do, um, obviously within reason, um, they'll open up to you. Yeah. And I think the, the relationship that you have with each other would be a lot more easier. They'd open up to you and um, it would just be a, a better,